we know how to do some of the things that we do now since before we were even born. This is called innate behavior. It is hardwired into an organism's nervous system. You can say it's genetically determined for you. Over the years, our behavior changed as a result of experience. This is called learning. Okay, so let's talk about learning. There's few different types of learning. First of all, there is habituation. This is when an organism learns to ignore a stimulus that is really isn't beneficial or harmful to it. So you don't really want to waste energy reacting to it. Alright, I'm so hurt. <laughs> Next up is imprinting. I'm guessing this one is already commonly known. During the early development, for example, when we were babies, we treat someone or a particular object as something we should stay close to. For example, our mothers or a favourite blanket or something like that. So far, these types of learning are not associated with a reward or avoiding harm, we just do it. But classical and operant conditioning can be described as associative learning. An easy example of operant is training your pet to do tricks by giving them treats like Scooby Snacks. And classical conditioning is quite similar but slightly different. I'm thinking of a really clever example. Okay, guys have an innate reaction to hot girls. I'm not even gonna try explaining so go and ask your mom. If this girl is wearing a particular perfume then guys will associate this scent with her. What she looks like is an unconditioned stimulus whereas her scent can be called as conditioned stimulus and this poor guy will develop a response to this new stimulus. This is called conditioned reflex. He doesn't need to see her to be able to get the same reaction. Ah yeah, that's a bit sick. Some kinds of learning have no obvious association with any benefits or avoiding any harm at first. It's you. You're sent. It's like a drug to me. Who knew watching Twilight would be good for tips on getting uh, girls? Oh yeah. I can't read your mind. I can't read your mind. You have to tell me what you're thinking. You have to tell me what you're thinking. Or not? Okay, so this is the last type of learning that we need to know for our A2 biology exam, thank god. So, we've made you a special clip, watch it and we'll talk about it after.
I thank you! What the hell? Most of that was unnecessary, but the guys wanted a fight scene. So in that clip, Rob uses two of his previously learned memories in attempt to save me. One of his memories were watching a Kung Fu fight DVD so that he can fight off the baddie. The other one was watching Alec opens the door so that he knows how to, how to open the door. And he would have achieved something if I wasn't so badass and have an above average physical strength. Boom! Yeah, I know. As you revise for exams, remember that there's more to learning than memorizing.